Well, I'm going to have to uh, cancel recording today because all I got is my cell phone and I don't have enough room on it for any kind of uh, videoing except for a short little blurb like this. I don't have time to run back home to get uh, my camera uh, or cameras. I don't have either camera here at the studio right now and I don't have any memory cards in the camera that I do have here. So I've got a Somebody coming by in about, oh, they should be here by now, but uh, I just uh, thought I'd show you a quick look at what I did last night before I went home. That was on his hand right here. I'm going to work on his hand for a little while. I'm sorry it's not going to be videoed, but uh, I don't have enough room on this cell phone to uh, record anything without uh, filling it up quickly. So I'm just going to have to let it go at this. Uh, Show you what I've done so far. I got the gun case on it with the fringe on the gun case and uh, worked on the fringe on his jacket. I've got work to do back here on his hat and stuff like that. I hope this video is good. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is just uh, cutting a sawtooth pattern in the uh, cloth uh, that uh, is sewn onto the uh, jacket at the edge and uh, it was something that they did to I'm sorry about making you guys seasick and everything but this is what you do when you got only your uh, one camera which is in my phone I figured I'd just go ahead and start shooting, and if it dies out, then I'll pick it up when I get my regular camera here. Anyway, I'm uh, digging into the clay more towards the right side of my tool to uh, make the cloth that uh, is on the front edge of the jacket stand out. Now, I've already marked off this distance between there and there with my calipers and uh, now it's just a matter of uh, using uh, if I can find that tool by the way I'm still waiting for the person to come by that was going to come by I'm going to have to do this with my other hand ambidextrous that's what I am uh Anyway, let me get it in here so you can see what I'm doing. And I take this tool and I just uh, cut into the uh, thing like that. Oh, crap. Sorry, people. I don't mean to be all over the place with my camera, but anyway. Well, like I said, I've done that here. and It does add something to it. I think what I'm going to do is uh, add some brass tacks, something that would hold it together, and it adds a nice little design to it. As you can see, I've added on the, the seam of the gun scabbard a uh, quill worked uh, edge or design which will add to the uh, texturing of this clay. Well, I just opened up a drawer and found an old uh, video camera of mine, high def video camera that I haven't used in five or six years so it still works and I had a 16 gigabyte uh, memory card in it so going to work. I'm beginning to think the person that was going to come by the studio isn't going to come by the studio. So I'll just continue working on this guy. Right now I'm just working on his fingers. Oops. Got to move the camera over a little bit if I want to do that. What I'm trying to do is not necessarily finish it. 
uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, just show <coughs> basically what I'm thinking of as far as how his hand's going to go so that uh, when the founder takes a look at this to decide how they're going to make the mold, uh, you know, determine what the cost of that mold will be. Sounds like my friend's here, so I guess that's going to have to be it for today. Sorry, it was another short day, but that's the way it works sometimes when you're sculpting. You, some days you can spend a whole day, and some days you can't. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to end this before they get here because I know they don't want to be on camera. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next week.